Hello everybody, Paul here. So, I made a couple of videos like this where I sit in front of the camera and I got a lot more views than I normally do for a given video. So, uh, I'm going to try to make some more. The uh, plan now is to uh, cover a topic. So we're going to talk about this kit. Uh, it's a resistor kit in this video. And the, uh, the reason for this is that when you're starting off in electronics, it's hard to know what you want to buy and so I recommend uh, getting a kit with a wide variety of components and I recommend one that has Arduino in it too and instructions on how to use the Arduino that'll also help you learn how to use the other components because usually you hook them up to the Arduino and uh, so I have an I think it's called an ultimate starter kit for Arduino it's made by Elegoo and uh, so it says Elegoo all over it but uh, in any case, if you uh, go down into my links, there's an Amazon shop, and then it'll say like Electrons app. And uh, I have it linked down in there. Should still be a good link. And uh, you can check that out. If you live in the United States and uh, you make purchases after you click that link, I get a small percentage. So that helps me too. But uh, I link the stuff that I like. I don't uh, really run the shop. It's just an extra button I have for being an affiliate with Amazon. And uh, so I post the stuff I like in there, so please uh, check them out. But in any case, after you get a, a general kit with a lot of stuff, that may be a route you're going. You may be doing something completely different. But if you have a general kit, I really recommend probably uh, one of the next steps is a resistor kit right here. So this resistor kit, I don't remember how many values it has. Maybe it's like 68 or uh, 84 or something. But each one of these baggies is a different value resistor right there. And they're assorted, they come assorted in, in value. So they're not marked quite as nice as I would like, but they're, they're not bad. We'll take a closer look at it. But in any case, resistors are kind of, or they are, the component that uh, really helps to have a wide range of values. Usually when you make a modification to a circuit by swapping one value component for another, it's a resistor. So not always. Capacitors are pretty common uh, too, where you might uh, go with a different value capacitor. But uh, that doesn't pop up near as much as resistors. So I recommend a resistor kit like this. Let's go take a closer look. And here we are with a better look. So one really nice thing about this, there's a sticker on the front and this is the resistor color code. So that's uh, pretty helpful, especially if you are not used to the color code. It'll give you a sense of how to read the color code uh, pretty good. They, they tell you where which band to look at and everything. You don't need to learn the color code though to find the value resistor you want. So these aren't labeled as nicely as I would like. But you can see they're 3K. Um, some resistor sets that are, are similar to like this where they come in babies. Maybe they don't even come in babies. They're just got the strips of uh, resistor. They might hand write it. Those are harder to read. But in any case, we do have the value there. I would prefer a paper sticker with the value, but this particular kit was probably cheaper and had more values than those. So I wanted as wide of a range of values as possible. We can go down to one ohm. That's uh, pretty good. There's also zero ohm resistors, by the way, uh, that are in some kits. If you just want like a little jumper or something. And then 10 mega ohm, 10 million ohms is the largest value right there. So I got a whole lot of values in between. So in any case, I'm going to end it there. This video is long enough. Uh, check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. And uh, if you can donate, please uh, donate. I have links down below. Check them out. Check out all the links. But in any case, I appreciate that you stopped and uh, watched. So thanks for that. I'll see you in the next video.